Hey everybody, Mick Price here. So Tattersall's Book 2, Lot 1362, is a Kodiak cult. So we used John Fort. He is probably out of all the bloodstock agents. I don't use a lot of bloodstock agents because I'm always doing it myself. So we use Phil Cotello in New Zealand, who's been very good, and John Fort is the other one. But as I said, I don't use many of them because I do my own stuff. But Footy's over there, and he's been there... Decade after decade, he knows the territory. He's bought horses like Sign Off and 50 Stars, a Group 1 winner. Furion was a good horse. Grand Promenade of Kieran's. You've seen Russian Camelot come from over there. You know, Hartnell came out of this um, Tattersall Sales. It is us sourcing some of the best bloodstock we can get our hands on for what we think is value, in particular Colts. He's a Kodiak cult, right? So Kodiak has had six Group 1 winners, so we're not using unproven sires. This horse, Kodiak's the son of Dane Hill, and he's a half-brother to Invincible Spirit, who's obviously the sire of I'm Invincible. So he's a beautifully bred cult, good racehorse himself, and can get your Group 1 winner. So we go to the source. It's a black-type family, but more importantly, I've got to train this horse and look at him every day and I've looked at quite a few of the list that John has given us. I haven't liked them all for what I want in a horse. But he's gorgeous colt. He's got a big, strong colt's eye and head on him, big nostril, beautifully proportioned, um, you know, proper deep girth on him, good hindquarter, good bone, feet. And it's important that we don't buy a European horse that is light boned and like contracted heels, small feet. You know, I need to buy a horse that I know will physically work in Australia, which is why I like this horse. He's a beautiful mover. Um, obviously, we'll give him time. I think he's going to be 12, 1600, maybe 2000. I see El Bodegon in the Cox Plate this year. Wallace is a Kodiak Colt, uh, but he had a Group 1 Royal Ascot sprinter, so. You know, I don't want to buy a, a dour staying five-year-old or six-year-old, but um, I think this is the right horse. He's going to be about 400 landed in Australian dollars, and we'll just bring him over here, break him in, get him used to Australia. But, um, yeah, beautiful colt. I uh, really like him, and I think he's uh, the right price. Good luck.